boys and girls, this is Miss Brienne, and welcome back to Preschool Story Hour. And this is the afternoon preschool story time session where we meet three times a month in order to listen to some cool stories, sing some great songs, and even do some fun activities. And as you know, every month we change the theme of our story time and we read all these books that are based on our theme for the month. And this month, for the month of June, we are starting a new theme. And that is end of school and beginning of summer. So, yay! Now, I know most of you may have finished school already. It all depends on which school you go to. But for a few, school is still going on. And school will probably be ending in about two or three weeks. Isn't that exciting? So I have some great books and an activity for you to do today. But before we do that, we're going to start our welcome song. And as you already know, our welcome song is from the pamphlet, The Very Ready Reading Program, which is published by Upstart. And our welcome song is The More We Get Together. Now you know the drill by now. I sing along first, and then all of my friends out there virtually will sing along with me the next time around. So, are we ready? All right, follow along on your song sheets. Here we go. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Cause your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Everybody, the more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Cause your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. All right, good job boys and girls. All right, so as you know, our theme for this month is the end of the school year, the beginning of summer. So we have four new books to read for the month of June. Now, just to let you know, we have our book we're going to be reading all for all three sessions in June, and it's called It's a Seashell Day. And then we have our other books that we'll be reading throughout the month, which is Lizzie and the Last Day of School, Wish You More, and Nuffle Bunny Free, an Unexpected Diversion. Now, the book I am going to be reading to you for this session is Wish You More. So, we're going to start our story times, but before we do that, we're going to, I'm going to teach you one of the two songs that you'll be singing for all three summer, for all three preschool story hours for June. Now, both of these songs that I will teach you, I'll teach you the second one in a little while, are from the website KidSparks. So if you're interested in this song as well as other songs, similar songs, please click on the web link in the video description. But we are going to sing a song called Summer. And in our third verse, we choose an activity. I think for our first activity, we're going we're gonna to sing Play Outside. So, are we ready? Here we go. In summer, follow along in your song sheets. In summer when it's hot, in summer when it's hot, in summer we play outside, in summer when it's hot. Everybody! In summer when it's hot, in summer when it's hot, in summer we play outside, in summer when it's hot. All right, good job, boys and girls. All right, so with that being said, we are going to begin our first story. So I'm just going to aim this a little bit. Let's 
Let's see if that works. Yes, it does. All right, then. So with that being said, I'm going to introduce our first book today. And our first book is called Wish You... Oh, actually, wrong book. That's the second book. Sorry about that, boys and girls. This is our actual first book. It's a seashell day. Now, the author of this book is Diane Ultratray, and I hope I pronounced that correctly. Now, the author is the person who writes the words to the story. The illustrator is Elliot Kraloff, and the illustrator is the person who draws the pictures in the story. And then we have the publisher, which is that company or the organization that puts the books together into print and then sells them to the bookstores, to, sends them to the bookstores to sell. Now the publisher for this book is called Blue Apple Books. Give me one second. Are we ready? Okay, here we go. When the sun peeks up over the bay, mommy tells me it's a seashell day. So it looks like they're gonna go to the beach and get some seashells. Does that sound like fun, boys and girls? Have you ever gotten seashells at the beach? Isn't it cool? Well, let's see what they find, huh? I rush down the path over the dune. Salty breeze blows. <gasps> we'll be there soon. So the boy's going, running along with his pail and his shovel, looking to dig out the seashells. We reach the beach, herring gulls flock. Is this a seashell? No, it's a rock. Looks like the boy found a rock instead of a seashell. That's not good. Will he find seashells? Well, let's see. With pail and shovel in my hand, my toes squish in cool, wet sand. Oh, and it looks like he found a seashell. Isn't that great? Cool, huh? A wave rolls in. It's way too big. Go away, wave, so I can dig. <laughs> Who wants to dig when the waves are big, right, boys and girls? Well, let's see if he finds seashells. Ooh. Bumpy shells, lumpy shells, out from the muck. Spiny shells, spiny shiny shells, a penny for luck. Right here. Am 
My shell is tiny, a silvery pearl. Mommy's is brown with a big twirly curl. This shell is a home, Mommy tells me. Let's put it back to live in the sea. What do you think is living inside that shell, boys and girls? What do you think? Probably a snail or maybe even a little crab. Let's see. This shell has a secret. Hold it up to your ear. Listen, says Mommy. What do you hear? <gasps> I hear the ocean! So boys and girls, if you see big seashells like this with a big hole, put it up to your ear. You'll hear something great. I count shells. One, two, three, four. Each one is different. I have many more. Let's see how much more he has. I count other shells. Five, Six, seven, eight. My shells are curvy, never straight. Two more shells, numbers nine, then ten. When we get home, let's count them again. So it looks like they're count. They're, they're done finding shells, and it's time to go home. Let's see what happens. We're almost home. It's been a fun day. So many shells, I'll make a display. One. Two. seashell store. Five, six, seven, eight. All my shells look really great. Nine and ten, both from the sea. I brought the beach home with me. And then take a look at all the shells in the book that the boy has on display. Isn't that amazing? But isn't it fun to have a nice little sheet seashell display, boys and girls? Isn't it cool? I'll bet it is. But with that being said, we are now, that is the end of our story. What did you think, boys and girls? Was that a fun story to read? Well, I certainly hope you enjoyed it. I definitely enjoyed reading it to you. So, before we move on to our next book, I'm going to teach you the second song that we'll be singing through all three sessions of our preschool story time. And this one is called, I'm a Little Fishy. So, are we ready to begin? It goes a little something like this. Now pretend to swim. I'm a little fishy. I can swim. Turn around. Here is my tail. And then lift up your arm. Here is my fin. When I want to have fun with my friends, then turn around and wiggle. 
I wiggle my tail and pretend to dive, dive right in. Then let's count. One, two, three, four, five. All right, are we ready to get started? Let's do that again. I'm a little fishy. I can swim. Here is my tail. Here is my fin. When I want to have fun with my friends, I wiggle my tail and dive right in. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five. All right, good job, boys and girls. So, we are going to sing our next song. Now, we're not going to sing this one twice because it is a little long. What I'm going to have you do, you're going to sing the, I'll sing all the verses, but you will sing the chorus with me. Does that sound like fun? And just so you know, the next two songs on the song sheet are from the website Teaching Mama. So if you're interested in this song as well as other songs, please click on the web link in the video description. But with that being said, it's time for our song. It's called I'm Big. So are you ready? Here we go. I started out the year so small, but now I'm so much bigger. Now here's the chorus. It goes like this. Big. I, G, I'm big, B, I, G, I'm big, B, I, G, I'm big, I'm moving on to kinder. All right, you know that chorus, boys and girls? All right, here we go. Preschool class was so much fun, but now it's time for summer. Everybody, B, I, G, I'm big, B, I, G, I'm big. B I G I'm big, I'm moving on to kinder. All right, last verse. I'll miss my teachers and my friends, but I will see them next year. Everybody, B I G I'm big, B I G I'm big, B I G I'm big, I'm moving on to kinder. All right, good job, boys and girls. Give me one second. All right, so we're moving on to our next story. And it is called, Wish You More. So, the author is Amy Krauss Rosenthal. The illustrator is Tom Lichtenheld. And the publisher is... Chronicle Books, LLC. With that being said, are we ready to begin? All right, here we go. This is a goodbye story for the end of the school year. I wish you more ups than downs. So more happy days than sad days, right boys and girls? I wish you more give than take. I wish you more tippy toes than deep. It's a lot easier if you can walk in the pool, right boys and girls?
I wish you wore more we than me. Isn't it nice to play with a bunch of friends? I wish you more hugs than Uggs. I wish you more woohoo than whoa. I wish you more will than hill. I wish you more can than not. I wish you more snowflakes than tongue. Imagine so many snowflakes you can't eat them all. Isn't that great? I wish you more pause than fast forward. Remember boys and girls, take some time to enjoy where you are. I wish you more umbrella than rain. Isn't it nice to have an umbrella big enough to keep you dry? I wish you more bubbles than bath. I wish you more treasures than pockets. Look at all the seashells, boys and girls. We just read a book about seashells. I wish you more stories than stars. I wish this for all of you because I wish all of this for you because you are everything I could wish for. And more. And that is the end of the story. Isn't that a nice little story to read about friends and friendship? And it's a nice little story to read at the end of the school year when it's time to say goodbye until September. All right, with that being said, are you ready to start your project? All right, so let me get some stuff out of the way. over so you can see what I'm doing. There we go. today we are going to be making paper plate seashells. Now I'm going to guide you step by step on how to make these and when you're done you're going to have something that looks like this. Isn't that amazing? Isn't that cool? Now before I begin I just want to tell you that this activity is a modified version of one that I got from the website artsy craftsy mom so if you're interested in this activity as well as others please click on the web link in the video description 
Now, when you register for this program, you should have received a craft kit, and your craft kit should have had a paper plate that was cut into a seashell. You should have gotten some pink paint, some purple paint, and a sponge. But you should also have these on here. You should have preferably a, a marker, a paper towel, and should also have some water on hand. And the water is to help rinse between paints and to clean up your mess, clean up your messes. With that being said, are, we re are you ready to begin? All right, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna open, take your pink paint. Well, wet the sponge a little bit. Then you're gonna take your sponge, dip it in the pink paint, and then we're gonna cover the entirety of this outside paper plate, like dab it in pink paint, like so. And you just keep going. until all of your paper plate is covered in this pink paint. paint. Just keep going. Got the bottom left to do. And then you have a nice little covering of paint on your paper plate. I'll give you a minute to do that. And if you need more time, you can always pause in between steps in order for you to catch up. But when you're done, you're going to take your water, rinse off your sponge, get rid of all that purple paint. Make sure you squeeze it out and dab it on the paper towel to just get rid of all that. And then when you're done, you're going to take your purple, purple paint. Oh, and before, make sure you have, keep your workstation covered, boys and girls, because you are playing using paint, even though it's washable. Dip your sponge in the paint, and then we'll just highlight certain areas. Like, let's paint the, like the outer rim this purple color. Let's do a little bit on the outside here. Maybe do a little bit on the rim, a little bit on the outside, and then just randomly splatter a darker color to your plate, like so. There we go. So I'll give you a minute to finish that, boys and girls.
All right, so when you're done with that, you have to wait a little bit for the paint to dry before moving on to the next step. To save time, I had already made one of these in advance. That way I can show you the next step right away. So the next step for this is to take a marker and what we're going to do is in the center, start at the bottom, we're going to draw a line going slanting to the left a little bit. Then on the other side we're going to draw a line slanting to the right. Then we're going to draw a line next to the other, first line we drew and a line next to the second line we drew. Probably actually put a line in the center. And there you have it. And that is your paper plate shell. So I'll give you a minute to finish that. a little bit. Hold on one second. Camera's a little off. I apologize, boys and girls. That's what happens when you deal with a tripod that's a little bit tricky. I apologize. Oh, I hope that's much better. All right. So, with that being said, we're going to do another song. And this one is called Goodbye, My Friends. So, you know, Drill, I'll sing this one first, and all my friends singing along with me. And follow along on your song sheets. Are we ready to begin? All right, here we go. Goodbye, my friends. Goodbye, my friends. Happy summer to you all. Goodbye, my friends. Goodbye, my friends. I'll be seeing you next fall. All right, everybody. Goodbye, my friends. Goodbye, my friends. Happy summer to you all. Goodbye, my friends. Goodbye, my friends. I'll be seeing you next fall. All right, good job, boys and girls. I hope you had fun today. I certainly had fun with this program and I'm looking forward to next week where we read a new story and we do another fun activity. But sadly, it is time to end for the day. So tune in next week for a new story and some new activities. But until then, we're going to wrap up with our goodbye song. Now our goodbye song is from the website Literary Hoots. So if you're interested in this as well as other similar songs, please click on the web link in the video description. But with that said, are we ready? All right, here we go. Hands go up, hands go down. I can turn round and round. I can jump up on two shoes. I can clap and so can you. I can wave, I'll show you how. Story time is done for now. Everybody, hands go up, hands go down. I can turn round and round. I can jump up on two shoes. I can clap and so can you. I can wave, I'll show you how. Story time is done for now. 
Thank you so much for joining me today, boys and girls. You have a great day, and I'll see you next week.